Hey, so I'm going to give a demo today on the triplanar shader that we've created for Unity URP. So this triplanar shader is made with Shader Graph. It's easy to use. It produces excellent results. It's performant and it's easy to extend. Um, it has a powerful editor. It has a customizable tiling rate and blend strength. You can also customize the albedo, roughness, occlusion, emission, metalness, and normal maps for the X, Y, and Z axes. And um, it, like I mentioned, it's made in shader graph, so it's very easy to extend. So here we have a model in the scene, a bust of this man, and it is completely not UV mapped at all. So this triplanar shader makes it really easy for you to bring new assets into your workflow and immediately right away just start texturing it without having to unwrap it whatsoever. So over here on the right side, we see that this is an Oka Software triplanar shader. Um, you can adjust the tiling here. And you can adjust the blend strength between the different um, axes. So the first thing that we're going to do is kind of pop in and switch to a different material so you can see how different materials will look on this bust. So we can just pop this one on here and you can see that instantly this brick material is tiling seamlessly on this character. Um, this also works for other objects as well. So for example, we can bring in this model of a piece of ginger. You can see that when it's positioned in the scene, we don't need to worry about UVs at all. It just works. And so that makes it really easy for you to kind of set up your scene. I'm going to disable the skybox here so you can see it more easily. And you can switch out to different materials. You can also customize the X, Y, and Z axes separately. So in this case, we have this vase material. And we'll just bring in this vase. And you can see that the front of it is being textured differently than the side of it. And so if we open this up, you can see that we've set the albedo color for the X axis to blue. But if we change that to white, it instantly gives you a completely different result. You can also change the blend strength. So if you want to have a really sharp edge there, you can bring that all the way up. And if you want to have a softer blend, you can bring that down. And you can change that to any color that you want. You can also completely swap it out with a different um, texture. So if we go into um, the art section here, and then we can pick a different texture to apply. So we'll just go ahead and click on the material and then drag and drop in the different textures. So we'll add that one, add in the AO, the normal, and the roughness. And now we have this completely different material showing up on the side instead of on the front. And you can do that for the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. So Z is um, you know, the front and the back. So if we customize that one, it looks like that. And so we're just going to quickly pop in this brick texture on the Z axis so you can see what that looks like. To drag in the roughness and the occlusion. And you can see that now this is seamlessly tiling between this brick texture on the front and the soil texture on the side. If you bring that tiling down, it'll tile less frequently. And if you bring it up, it'll tile more frequently. Like I mentioned, you can adjust the tiling or the blend strength as well. And so this is a really powerful asset because it lets you very quickly um, set up new materials in your scene um, without having to do any detailed UV unwrapping, especially for simpler objects that you might have a lot of, like this vase, for example. So you can customize the X, Y, and Z axes separately. This is all built in shader graph, so it's really easy to extend. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are able to create with it. Thanks for watching.